I will come to as many of you as we possibly can. Um, I'm not sure if people are getting any of that. Uh, yes, Laurie, yeah, thank you. Okay, here we go. Simon Stone to kick off the press conference. First hand up, Simon. Hi, Jürgen. Um, congratulations on that. Is that one of the greatest days of your career, given the size of the scoreline, the opponent, the way your team played, and the way you made the opposition play? The greatest days. Wow. Uh, didn't think about it yet. Um, it's a good day, a really good day, and I don't want to be disrespectful to the day, um, but um, no idea. It's a big one. We know that we um, obviously... After the game, I got told that that never happened before in the in the long history of LFC. We all this group always wanted to to write their own little chapters for the big big history book of this club. This was a little one tonight, a little chapter. People will talk about that in the future, one hundred percent, because it will not happen very often if it happens again at all. Um, and but we saw the game um, as well, and um, we know that we were lucky in two or three situations where United in the first half could have scored. Um, I think they sh could have, should have scored the first one. Uh, that deal doesn't make our performance small. It's just how it is. And But in front of the goal, in, in the last third, we were exceptional. We were clinical. We were ruthless. Our high press was outstanding. We really um, won balls in great areas. Um, formation top, all these kind of things you want to see as a coach uh, worked out really great. The difference is now that you usually don't score them with each situation you have, pretty much. And that's what we did. And that's why we were throwing it up for half time. Second half, early 5-0 and the red card, game over. Uh, so then just control it and uh, try to get home healthy. Um, I'm not 100 percent sure that worked out or that didn't work out, obviously, because Millie um, is injured and, um, and and Nabi as well. We have to see how serious it is. It is. Um, it's very painful, but maybe uh, I will see. I only know about tomorrow or the day after tomorrow. Thank you. Call Simon. Yeah. Call Simon, sorry. Is that you, Dom? No, it's me, Dom, Mike. Sorry. No problem. Okay, Chris McKenna, and that's the final handoff as it stands at the moment. Chris, uh, James Duncan. Next. My answers are that long. Yeah, it's okay. Chris, all right. Just on Naby Jurgen, I mean, he comes off a half time in Madrid, and then he he comes out and he puts in a performance like that today. I mean, I know the injury is a bit of a downer, but what a performance from him before that! Oh yeah, absolutely. Look, Naby is in a great moment. Naby is a um, an outstanding player, and uh, we spoke we spoke about it. So about the game at, uh, at, at at Atletico, he played outstandingly well until he made the mistake around the first goal. I think it was the first goal, or the second goal, the goal of Atletico. Um, this, I think, yeah, after set piece, and that obviously shattered him a little bit, and that should not happen. Obviously, that's clear. Um, but in such an atmosphere against such an opponent, all of a sudden, when you're thinking about the wrong things, then it can happen. But it was clear we will start him again because he um, is in a really good shape. And um, yeah, he proved us right tonight. Okay, in order, we'll go James Ducker, Carl Markham, and Dave uh, McDonald. James. Hi, hi Jürgen. Um, I know um, 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 Mo Salah's goals will obviously draw a lot of attention, but can I just ask you about Firmino's performance? He, he was so clever, and United never really got to grips with him the entire game. Well, they didn't get to grips with him in the entire game. Yeah, he played again outstandingly well. So you're right. Mo gets a lot of attention, attention rightly so. Uh, but Bobby, um, for let me say, for 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 football, for people with football knowledge, Bobby Firmino. I, I'm pretty sure when he finished playing, there will people will write books about the way he he in the, interpreted the the, the 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 false nine position. Um, he I don't say he invented it or, or we invented it, but the way he plays it from time to time looks. Like, um, so there are different things to do on the pitch, and some of them are defensively. What he did in that department tonight was absolutely insane. And offensively, he's obviously a nice link up player, and he finished off from time to time as well. So, um, yeah, yeah, um, Bobby knows how much we appreciate what he's doing, and that's maybe even more important. 
Final two questions, I think. Carl Markham, Association, Dave McDonald, Daily Mirror. Hey, Jürgen. Hi. Hi. Did you see the incident with Ronaldo and Curtis Jones, which you got booked for? And did you think that could have been a red card? Should have been a red card? Um, yeah, I saw it, of course, in the game. I know for me it looked like, but in the end I got told that he hits the ball or whatever, or didn't hear the whistle or whatever. That's fine. I don't want Cristiano getting a red card. It's not about me saying that. I, 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 for me it looked like, but I, I got convinced or got told at least that it was not. And that's fine. Then, don't know. Final question, Dave McDonald. Hi, hi, Jürgen. Uh, now, now, now the game is over, I appreciate you're in a competitive industry, but can you um, allow us to have a degree of sympathy for Ole Gunnar Solskjaer and, and the pressure that you'll come under after this, after the manner of this defeat? Oh yeah, of course, of course. I, I, I said it on before, the, the, the last thing I wanted to be is now in his, in his shoes in that moment, because that's just how it is and uh, in these moments when you lose a game against... Uh, I mean, it was a derby, especially that happened to me as well. You don't want to go out there in the mix zone and give all the interviews and answer all these questions. So that's for sure not a nice night. And um, yes, of course, I agree. Thank you, everybody. Have a safe journey. Thanks. Thank Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.